Okay, this is a Donald Fagan tune, IGY. If you want to support the work I'm doing, there's a link in the description to my subscribe star. Also, there's a link in the description to a uh, chord chart and the chord diagrams for the tune. And uh, so like, subscribe, share, comment, please. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to play the intro chords and then we'll, uh, we'll get into the vamp and then the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus and so forth. Okay, here we go. This is the intro. Three, four. <laughs> That's the vamp part. Okay, so the, the opening chords are A flat minor, A flat minor seventh actually. So I'm just barring all the way across here. And if you want to add this ninth, you could do that as well because that works in this tune. The next one is uh, D flat minor seven. You can play it like that, or you can add that nine as well, which I like. I like adding that. It's a it's kind of a bear to play, but it, it sounds nice. And then. E, uh, e major 7 and then D flat minor 7 over G flat and so that's that's here's your there's your D flat minor okay and then we're gonna add this D uh, G flat here okay and then drop that and that turns it into an E over G flat Okay, now let's uh, one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just going to do those, uh, the vamp chords and then we'll uh, talk about the chord changes. Two, three, four. Okay, and that's where the verse starts right there. So, okay, so these changes are A flat minor seven up here. Okay, just bar it here and play it like all the other minor sevens we've been playing. And then drop these two notes. Okay, that ends up being a you know G flat over A flat. Okay, now the rhythm part. Let's talk about the rhythm a little bit. So. Four, two, three, four. See, because I'm, I'm 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 pulling on the the muted strings first, and then I'm hitting the hitting the guitar. Two, three, four. And then I'm hitting the the bass note first, and plucking the strings after that. Two, three, four. And I'm only hitting that bass note once, and then I'm just plucking the strings with these these three notes. And then the same thing applies to all these other uh, chord pairs. Okay, so we have, so this is D flat minor seven. Play it like that. And then this is a B triad. Okay, I'm not playing any bass note there. I'm only playing it on the first chord. So we got, so we have this uh, this slapping going on on every on every one of these changes. Okay, so we had this uh, D flat minor seven B, and then it's E major seven, and then a D uh, G flat triad. So this is B, would be your D flat or G flat chord. We're gonna leave that bass note off and just play these three notes. And then uh, D flat minor seven over uh, G flat. We've already learned this one, and then drop this. Okay, so let's let me just go through all. All, all of these changes. Three, four. Okay, I'm going to do it really slow. Three, four. That 
sets us up for the verse. This chord is okay. This chord is D flat over E flat. Okay. Okay. Or you could play it here. Or that. So this is your alternate alternative chord. Or just flatten that out there. Okay, so uh, let's. I'm gonna play through the verse now. Uh, let me just do this vamp one time through, and then I'll get to the verse. Save that for later. Okay, so the verse chords are E uh, or no F F minor nine. Play like that. You flatten out those, and then the next one is a D flat major seven. You can play that chord, or you can play the one I'm playing. This is a um, the third is right there. The five, three, seven, one. We're gonna take this third and move it over here. We're gonna play add the ninth here, right? Seventh and then the one. So uh, F minor nine, D flat major seven, back to F minor nine, B flat minor seven. You already know these chords. Back to F minor nine, D flat major seven, C minor seven, and then B flat minor seven again. And then we do the pre-chorus, and I'll, let me just play those changes for you. Three, four. And that does the chorus, okay? So that pre-chorus, those chords are D flat six, or G, G, G flat six. Okay, there's one note that just is kind of moving through the chord changes that is giving it this sound. It's this note here. That's what's happening. So if you play like this. And then the next chord is a, that's an a E major 9. So this is a G flat 6 and then a G flat minor 6 and then a E major nine. Here's the nine, the seven, the three, and the one. Then we do it again. It does this, these two again. And then we go to this D flat minor with the G flat bass. And then we do it again. And now we're going to play a F half diminished chord. So that looks like this. Now we're going to move one note this note here down to here to make this an E major seven or yeah E major seven. Now we're gonna drop this note here and we're gonna turn this into an E minor six now. So we have the flat three, the six, the five, and the one. So here we have the three, seven, five, one, down to flat three, six, five, one. Okay, let me just go through these real quick. Okay, and then that's the vamp chords, that's the chorus. It does another verse and a chorus and then it goes into a solo so at the end of this of the second chorus it does uh, it does a solo and the solo is over uh, the the verse changes and at that very end of the solo there's two added chords 
before it goes into the, uh, the pre-chorus vamp. Okay, so let's, uh, let me go over, I'm just going to play through the whole solo, three, four. So far it's all the same. Here's the change. So it's... So it's... Those are the two added chords. So it's it's a D flat minor. I'm just adding adding the add nine. You can play a D flat minor seventh if you want. Okay. And then it's F diminished. So it's I'm barring this because I want this note. I want these three notes. And then F in the in the bass. So I'm gonna bar this here and finger something like this. You can do either, either one of these. So and then it goes into the pre-chorus. Now, there's a change at the end of the, it does this pre-chorus thing twice, okay? But in between, there's a couple of chord changes there as well. So uh, I'm just gonna play through it real slow. Okay, here's the change. again and then it holds that E minor 6 for two bars instead of just one what a beautiful world this will be okay so the the chord changes in between those two pre-choruses, okay, at, at, when it gets to the end of this, okay, that's the first one, and then, okay, now this is where it changes, so it does playing a, I'm playing an E major 7, sharp 5 or sharp 11, or a flat 5 or sharp 11, so there's the sharp 11 or flat 5, here's the 9, okay, and here's the 7, and here's the one. And this is also, this would be like a, you know, it could be a an E flat minor chord because you'd have the five, the flat three, and the one, only it's got the E in the bass. So you could call it that as well. So it could be E flat minor over E. So the melody is, is going, and then goes to A flat minor seven. And then make sure you have that note in there. Because I'm dropping that. So it's. And then just keep this barred here and grab this and just pluck these top three strings and the bass note. Uh, but we're playing D flat here. So we moved from that's E to A flat. I just keep this bar and then play the D flat on the A string instead. These two notes. Add that one. And then this chord here. Now this is a, a G flat seven suspended chord. You play like this. I'm gonna show you the thumb way and one without the thumb. Okay, and then grab, grab the G flat with your thumb. Or you can play it like this. Just bar here, pinky here, third finger there. Okay, so this, so. Okay, and then it goes back to this. Does this again. Half diminished E major seven, and then E minor six for two bars in, and then it just does this vamp. Okay, and then it vamp. 
vamps out and it just fades on that uh, on that progression at the end of the tune. So, okay, that's the whole thing. That's the whole tune. I hope you enjoyed that. Got something out of it. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.